Module One: Lifestyles. One A. A city mouse or a country mouse. Exercise One A, page six. Exercise two, page six. Teenage life swap. Annabel and Sarah are guests on a reality TV show. Annabel lives in London. Sarah lives on a farm in the north of Scotland. They are swapping families and schools for a week. Annabel, fourteen. Day two. Everyone gets up at five a.m. because there's a lot to do on the farm. Sarah's mum is very nice. She brings me a cup of tea in bed, but I just go back to sleep. Later, I go outside to the farmyard to help Sarah's family. Today, we are milking the cows in the barn and feeding the chickens. The animals are lovely, but I can't stand the smell. Day four. Sarah's mum takes me to school every morning. We drive five miles to meet the school bus, which leaves at seven a.m. Sarah's school is very small, but everyone's so friendly. Day six. Learning about farming is interesting, but I'm happy I'm going home tomorrow. The fresh air is nice, but it's too quiet here. I also feel isolated. In the city, the streets are crowded, but you have everything close at hand. I miss the hustle and bustle of London, but I don't want to leave all my new friends. Sarah, fourteen. Day two. Everyone stays in bed late here. It's eight a.m. and Annabel's mum is making breakfast. In the afternoon, we're going shopping on Oxford Street, and then we're going to the cinema. I'm so excited. Day four. I travel to Annabel's school by tube. Her school is huge, with one thousand five hundred students, and her friends are very interesting and helpful. I'm enjoying the lessons, but most of all, I love the facilities. The computer room and the swimming pool are my favourites. Day six. Today, I'm feeling a bit tired. It's always noisy here, and you can hear the traffic all night. I think I'm getting a bit homesick too. 
I miss the beautiful landscapes and the people from my hometown. I'm happy I'm going home tomorrow, but I'm sure I'll visit London and see Annabelle's lovely family again. 1B. Better safe than sorry. Exercise 2A, page 8. Hi, Joe. What's your dad doing? He's installing an alarm system. What for? Well, there are burglars around here. They're stealing things from people's houses. Really? Yes. You should tell your parents. You're right. They should probably install an alarm too. And you should be careful with your keys. Don't lose them or leave them near an open window. I didn't think of that. You know... There's a lot of crime in cities these days. I think you're right. We should be careful. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Exercise 6, page 9. And now to a message from the police to our listeners. The police say that crime is increasing in the area and we should be careful. If you are out at night time, you should walk in a well-lit area. They also say that you should always have your mobile phone with you and call for help if you have a problem. Always keep your money close to you and don't carry a lot of cash unless you really have to. If you have a car, don't leave expensive items and bags for all to see. They are also asking people to join the local neighbourhood watch to help stop crime. And if you don't have one already, you should get a burglar alarm for your home. 1C. Hanging out. Exercise 2B, page 10. Kelly and Jamie tell us about their coolest spots in Sydney. My coolest spot is Darling Harbour. There are plenty of activities to choose from, such as a ride on the carousel, a film at the IMAX theatre, an exhibition at the Powerhouse Museum, or a visit to the fantasy world of Jacob's toy maker. Kelly. Manly has lots of interesting attractions, including Ocean World, and the popular surfing beach. But I'm crazy about one thing. Manly Skate Park. I love it there. I meet my friends and we skate all afternoon. Manly is also the best place to shop for skating gear. Jamie. One D, Culture Corner, Exercise Two A, Page Eleven. Landmarks of the British Isles. Malahide Castle is northeast of Dublin city, Ireland, and dates back to the twelfth century. It is in the middle of a large park and was used as both a fortress and a family home. It is a spooky place because people often see ghosts there. 1. Edinburgh Castle is Scotland's most famous castle. It is very popular with tourists and around one million people visit it every year. It is a very unique castle as it was built on top of an extinct volcano.
Conwy Castle in Gwynedd, Wales, is a classical 13th century fortress. It is a masterpiece of medieval architecture that took seven years to build. It has eight big towers that offer great views of the nearby river and the Snowdonian Mountains. The Tower of London sits on the banks of the River Thames. The tower is guarded by yeoman warders, or beefeaters. Eight big black birds called ravens live in the tower. There's a legend that says if they ever fly away, the tower will fall down. English in Use 1 Exercise 2A Page 12 Next, please. Where to? Single or return? Return to Barbican, please. That's six pounds. Which line do I take, please? You're welcome. Exercise 2B, page 12. A. Next, please. Two tickets, please. Where to? St. James's Park. Single or return? Single, please. That's six pounds. B. Yes, please. Two tickets return to Barbican, please. That's twelve pounds. Here you are. Which line do I take, please? Take the circle line. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Exercise 4, page 12. Reading rules. E A double E E Steal Seek I I Nick Pete Pit Peel Pill Beat Bit Slip Sleep Extensive reading one Across the curriculum Geography Exercise one Page thirteen Exercise 2B, page 13. Mexico City. Capital city of Mexico. Continent, North America. Population, 20 million. Language, Spanish. Currency, Peso. Tourism. Mexico City is one of the world's largest cities. It has got beautiful old buildings, green parks, museums, and an exciting nightlife. It's a great place to visit. Nine million people visit it each year. Homes Many people live in beautiful houses with gardens. Others live in blocks of flats near the city centre. Transport Mexico City is a difficult city to drive in because of the heavy traffic. The city's fantastic metro network, however, has 11 lines and is very cheap. There are hundreds of buses, trolley buses and peseros, minibuses, too. Leisure In their free time, Mexicans shop at colourful street markets. They also enjoy going to the cinema and theatre. They even have street parties. Football and horse racing are the most popular sports. 
Food. The people of Mexico City are very friendly. The food is excellent too. The restaurants serve delicious local food like tortillas and frijoles, beans. 